Today I worked five hours and made almost two hundred dollars. All right, was that a successful day for you? Yep. All right, good job, baby. In this episode of Trying Something New, we're gonna take a sneak peek into what a day in the life of an unschooler looks like in the Florida Keys. We're gonna go over what is unschooling, why we unschool, and stick around to the end to see if we made a mistake. So what is unschooling? Well, unschooling is our kids don't go to school. They don't go to a physical building to learn, but they're learning in everyday experiences and throughout the experience of life. Yep, it's a child self-directed way of learning where we follow what the kids are into, their interests, their passions, and we support them in any way we can. So here's a really cool behind the scenes of little Ryder over here making his own gaming video. He's doing everything himself for his brand new gaming channel on YouTube. So I love to watch, especially the little guy, he's eight years old, doing all of this himself. He's motivated. We actually ran a lot of errands today and we got home late and we thought we were gonna do his video earlier, but it's now 9 45, 10 o'clock at night and he's just starting because he would not let us not let him do this tonight. <laughs> So there goes a little passion of he wants to show other kids how he does his gaming videos. There you go. Hey guys, what's up? Today we're playing Brick Heaven on Roadblox and we're going to make a U.S. Army. And also, I'm going to show you some safes if you didn't know in some houses. So let's get right into it. Ryder got so inspired when he saw us creating an online video course for kids, especially since it had a gaming section. So if you have a kid that likes making videos, you might want to check out our course. It's down below in the description box. So Jimmy, why do we unschool? Well, we found out with three kids that every kid is absolutely, utterly, over the top, completely different, right? Yes. <laughs> One's a alpha male, even though she's a girl. And then this page is everything that I need to bring to the farmer's market. I probably will be adding stuff on like throughout the day and stuff. The other one's a hippie, free-loving uh, star child. Yes. And the other guy, I don't know, what would you explain right He's like kind of a mixture of the both. Yeah, of he's, a, the two. he's a mixture of both. You filming me? Na, 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 na. So if we try to teach them the exact same way, one is going to flourish and one is going to flounder. Yes. So we found that it's our duty as parents to find out what their strengths are and help them develop those strengths so that the, by the time they're in their 20s, they're not lost and starting at zero, pretty much like we were. Yes, so we went down the route of our kids in school and quickly realized that school was not for Skylar. I could totally relate, that was my experience going to school, Jimmy's too. And if you wanna see more about that, we actually go in depth and detail in this video right here, where we talk way about unschooling and just more in detail. But we went the route of school, didn't work. We heard about this and we are so thankful that we did because the kids love it, we love it, and it opens up our life for traveling and exploring the world. It's almost like bucking the system, but why are we tapped into this system? You know, it's funny. We call it, it's like bucking the system because that's what it is. If you take your kids out of school, you, people look at you like, what are you doing? You're ruining them. But the way that we look at it, it's such a, organic way of kids learning instead of being force-fed stuff from the past. And I love the Bitcoin family mm. said, Didi said it perfectly in an interview. We watched one of his videos and th th watch what he said right well, let's here. Let's just cut to it right here. So the kids, are they going to school? So they're not going to school. But aren't you depriving your kids from an education? Because we still think that the normal schools prepare the kids for the past. So we prepare them for a decentralized future. So yes, the kids are being taught to live in the past. They're not being taught, first of all, they're not being taught anything about finances. In elementary school, our kids should be learning about finances. Nixon right now is a young entrepreneur, Nick. learning everything, starting her own business and learning everything about it, but yet, hey Nix! And tomorrow she's doing her second farmer's market. No, where... not my second, because I did it at the... Oh, you did, yeah. Well, big one. Like, this is a big deal farmer's market here in the Florida Keys. And she's going to be running it 100% by herself. I will be in the background, but let her handle a customer service, sales, Hi. using the square for payments. Created pa her own product. She packaged everything, <laughs> bought all of her supplies. Ordered, Actually, her own, ordered her own Amazon. I'm wearing one of her resin necklaces right now. Has her own Etsy page. So the kid is on point. And if she was sitting in a classroom, that wouldn't be happening. None, she wouldn't probably know anything about if she's interested in starting a home business. 
So the possibilities are endless when you actually have the time in the day to explore different opportunities. Okay, I have this like business in a box thing. So today, so I figured out that I'm going to do like bath salts today, sugar scrubs tomorrow, lip scrubs the next day, and just because we have four days and four products to make. So I'm gonna start off with bath salts today. Mommy. All right, so you're getting ready to set up your booth. How's it going? I'm tired. I'm tired from what? Waking up so early. Yeah? What time did you get up? Five o'clock. Oh, man. All right, next, what do you got going on here? I have bath salt, which is just $4, lip scrubs, which is 3 shower bombs, which is 5 and sugar scrubs, which is 10 and then if you come over here, I have earrings that range from 5 to 8. I have necklaces and sizing, so these are 15, these are 10, and these are 5. Everything here is handmade by me. All right, so one thing that I have Nixon is evaluate the day and what sold, what was like hot sellers, you know, and what didn't sell. Because what didn't sell and what was a hot seller, either don't make more of what didn't sell and make more of the hot sellers and maybe different variations. So every day we learn more and more about what the market wants. I love it. Today I worked five hours and made almost two hundred dollars. Ask you for the time. There's about 700 key deer that live down here, and every year from cars, they say 50 to 70 get ran over. So that really sucks. So, you gotta be careful if you're out here not to run over the key deers. Oh, here's another thing. So, we just had a rooster in a shopping cart. Hello, little guys. You are little key deer, and look at that little baby one. You guys stay out of the road, okay? Oh, look at that little baby. Oh my god, they're so cute. Or oh, standing on his back. Standing on his back. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, his, his antlers are bloody. Hey, you guys, get out of the room. Oh, they're moving. No, they're moving. You guys have to be careful. You gotta be careful. Hey, babe, what is that next to your face? That's your daughter. <laughs> This guy's pretty comfy back there. Alright, what's going on here? I'm coming to the shop! <laughs> Tomorrow is Sky's 11th birthday. So the day before her birthday, she wants to run in, into this little hippie shop here and see if she can find any hippie stuff. But she is a little hippie, I think. The lady in that car right there, she said that she didn't want us going in alone because there was live alligators. Alligators. Oh. Hey guys, do you know there's live alligators back here? It's a baby alligator. Where? Where? This guy is cute. Where? Let's do it. We can do it right now. What? Are you serious? Are yeah. you gonna do it? Yes, he's coming over. Please. What do you want to do? Wait, what's his look? They're moving. What do you guys think? Oh my god, they're coming out. They'll put them where we start. It's coming for you, right? Do I like throw it in? You can throw it in there. 
Is that yours? Want to grab that off? Yeah. And now he wants to hold it. Now after that, I'm gonna have you guys feed it. No, we've been wanting to come in. She loves all the hippie stuff. I don't know. Oh, you look real weird. Oh, 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 Oh my god, that scared me. How was it? Oh what did it feel like? It was so cool. It's heavy. Oh my gosh, right. What does it feel like? It's so soft. Oh, really? Here, I'll hold them right here. Go ahead. There you go. Oh, that's good. What do you think, next? Scared me. Scared you a little bit? <laughs> next one is a dominant. Oh yeah. Hold so, it. Oh, hold it. Oh, it. Hold the tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very strong, right? Oh, yeah. He's looking. Oh, he's trying to get away. He's wrestling. There he goes again. I'll get arrested. Oh, watch your tail. He can break it. Oh, really? Okay. Hold the lid down. Hold the lid down. You're good. Yeah. Wrap it around your back, guys. He did. He's like, that's so cute. It's crazy. How big is she to get? Go up to 16. Oh, 16? Whoa. Man, it's crazy, huh? Sky. Hey, creepy. So Sky has been wanting to see this store since we've gotten to the keys. So today, so her birthday is tomorrow. We're like, look, we gotta take Sky to the hippie store. We got to hold alligator. They got to hold baby alligator, feed the baby alligator. And I got this as a birthday. Oh no. Uh, he left some, uh, <laughs> the alligator left some smegma on Sky's back. Oh, oh my Where? God. Get it off. <laughs> So the real reason that we chose this direction or maybe this direction chose us is that we want to spend the most time possible as a family. We want to cultivate our kids. We want to be the biggest influence on their lives and we want them to have an advantage when they grow up and decide to leave us that we necessarily didn't have when we were growing up. We think the most valuable thing to teach our kids is real life practical things that they're going to encounter later on. And so, yeah, maybe it's not the whole history book that kids are learning in school, by the book, page by page, but we're going and seeing these things, seeing these places, meeting the people, eating the food. I mean, nothing can replace that. And so I love this unschooling life. I love doing all this. I love letting the kids express themselves and explore. And, you know, maybe some things we're we don't even know anything about yet and so they bring it up and we're like all right let's all learn together so it really is a family thing you know we're always learning exploring and um so if you guys really, have any doubts or questions about the direction that you're going think about getting out there and try, try something, something new. new how are you laughing at that's good Make sure to follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to YouTube. It's hard with my two front teeth. And make sure every day you try something new.